Let's say I want to find the gradient function of each of these lines. So a function that just describes the gradient. So y equals 3x minus 5 is really, this is the question, it's just identify what the gradient is. Because these are all straight lines, the gradient is unchanging. It is fixed. So the function dy by dx is always going to be constant. So dy by dx in this case will just be 3. Okay, and in number 2's case, dy by dx is also going to be 3 because the gradient in both cases is 3. The minus 5 and the 7 don't make any difference. Number 3, dy by dx is just going to be 6. Number 4, dy by dx is going to be 2 thirds because it's the coefficient of the x we're looking for, remember? Number 5 dy by dx will be minus 8. Number 6, dy by dx will be minus 1. OK, the coefficient, the number that's in front of the x. And number 7, if a and b are constant, OK, they're just, they're just numbers, then x and y are the variables. So when I find the gradient function, it's the coefficient of x, and so just a. So it's pretty straightforward to go through this process to find the gradient function. What we're doing is we are differentiating each of these. Okay, That is the name of the process that we're going through, differentiation. Okay, And as I said, there are mechanics working behind the scenes that allow this to happen. Okay, um, So what we're going to move on next is to look at the gradient function and differentiating um, curves, okay, so um, graphs that aren't just straight lines. How are we going to do that?